Hello yeah. everyone and welcome to Life on Tap, episode number 55. This is the first group show ever, so it's kind of exciting. Uh, with me is uh, Dave, at Cheapone Sullivan, Twitter. What's up? The, one, the only uh, Fudgeons, aka Nipod, aka many other names. But uh, once again, welcome to Life on Tap. It's a multimedia experience now from the heart of NYC. Right. And uh, today we're doing a really special tasting. We're doing a side-by-side Weyerbacher tasting uh, in just a second, as soon as Ginger excuses herself. <laughs> cat, <laughs> God, kill the cat! <laughs> kill the cat! <laughs> so, um, so basically, so we're going to be starting off, first of all, you want to pull up Blithering Idiot over here. This is their bar. This is their barley wine. It, it, it's a British-inspired barley wine, um, and it weighs in at eleven point one percent. And we're tasting this against the insanity. Woo! So basically, it's a blithering idiot, but they age it in oak. Yummy. So let's let's okay. Let's, let's lead off with the blithering idiot here. See, see, see what, see what kinds of stuff we got. Wow! Look at that color. Look at that. Ooh, that's nice. I like that color. I like it. It's definitely got some stuff in it. I mean, like, like I mean, like, I mean, like, dry, like, the, like, kind of the dried fruits, you know, like. Yeah. No, I'm definitely you know that. that. Like fig or something like that. Like figs. 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 Yeah. figs. Definitely both. Oh yeah. You know, it's funny, the first time I ever had this, uh -huh. um, well, actually, it's, my roommate talks about this all the time. If you want to get really messed up, have a blithering idiot. Of the course. thing is, I was there the first time he had it, and I had it with him, but he always forgets, probably because he's had too much blithering idiot, that I was there, and I've actually had this before. But he just likes to tell me over and over again. And you know what? I'm okay with having this over and over again. Uh, my brain cells okay. aren't, but, you know. Yeah. No, I... I oh, my I, liver! Never. I love the malt character that, like you know, that they they really hits you on the way down. I mean, and, and the alcohol burn is is is, is, is it, there's alcohol there. Your your knowledge, you're almost it's you're kind of sure it's there, but it's just not as like burning. Yeah, no, as no. Some other ones are. Yeah, you definitely don't feel the burn on this. It's, it's smooth enough to take down, but it, it, you have to really be able to step up to the bar on this one. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, I mean, I you can you can have this with with a meal too. It's it's not too. Oh. It, it's not like an American style barley wine, which basically is like in your face, like alcohol, you know, totally. This is definitely a more modified version. I'm definitely getting that kind of, you know, modified inspiration. All right, onward to the insanity. So right off the bat, basically, there is, there is definitely a kind of a darker color than the other one. You want to yeah. look. It seems to have more uh, sediment, solids so. and sediments in it. Yeah, so you look, there's, there's, there's a nice like side by side. Look at that. Yeah, I mean the color is just slightly darker. It's slightly darker, but and but it, there's a little, a little, a little. There, there are there is some more lacing on the glass now than before. A little bit maybe. Well, the ABV yeah. is supposed to be about the same. About the, it's about the same. But it's definitely. Is. But I'm I'm getting like the head's a bit darker. Head's darker. Yeah. Like I, yeah. I, I mean, I'm getting this like crazy, um, like uh, I'm even like I'm getting vanilla. I mean, a lot of vanilla out of this. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to agree with you on that one. Vanilla. Yeah. 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 I mean, they say they say they say that there's like a bourbon character to this. Some people say that. Well, the the the, the thing is, there's a vanilla in bourbon. That yeah, so that's what it is. Past. Yeah. No, I I I, I, I kind of get that. Yeah. I could kind of get that from the the, the media too. Yeah, a little bit. All right, definitely there. I feel like the wow, wow, the cat. Ah. I feel like the well, I feel like that the character of it is more rounded. It's more of a round character, like a, yeah. more of a rounded character. It definitely coats my tongue a little differently. The, 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 the taste though is definitely more potent. Than oh that. my god! Yeah, the other idiot. This ain't no yeah. sipping whiskey. Ex exactly. I mean, it's it totally, it totally like that. You're, it, this is not meant to be um, down in golf by no means. Definitely not, a, definitely not a session beer. No, not at no. all. <laughs> yeah, this is the kind of thing you probably want to have a glass beer this big about. You know, no, and, and more than that, even. Uh, I mean, it, you're really gonna be up a creek if you're, if, unless you're not. I mean, I, I find out the hard way what happens when you do that. I decided to drink an entire one of the large bottles. You, you drink once, a bomber. I drink I got, a bomber. I got messed up royally. And yeah, it was like, that's not good. But I, I mean. 
but you know, I, I, one thing is I do, I do like about Wirebocker is that there's definitely a lot of a lot of thought, a lot of you know, you know, yeah. inspiration behind this kind of thing, and so that, that that's why I, I really dig these. I mean, you know, it's kind of it's always great to see you know how barrel aging, and that's the biggest you know thing they're doing now is you know how barrel aging is going to be affecting existing kind of recipes and how you can tweak these recipes basically to be something you know more out there basically. You know, of course, like you know, a great example, uh, you know, uh, the the Yeti, and the, of course the oak aged Yeti. Uh, so imperial style. So I mean, those, are, those, are, those are other great you know combos you can do out there. So if you get a chance to get you know Wirebocker with an an, uh, an, an, an age and an aged, you know, give that definitely a shot. I think it's definitely worth it. Um, you can check them out at wirebocker.com in case you're interested to get more information on them. Uh, if you want to reach us on the web, it's www.lifeontap.net. You can email us at lifeontap at lifeontap.net. I'm out there in the Twitter and Skypeverse. I'm new type 2001. Also out there on Facebook. Facebook.com slash new type 2001. Dave is Twitter.com slash T Bone Sullivan. And Nyan is out in lots of different places, but you have to try and find him first. Yeah. Man, going back to the blithering idiot after the insanity, it's like. I'm oh, God. Yeah, so definitely, if you're going to ever do this, drink Building Idiot first, and then go to Insanity. Yeah, it, it, that is, you know, but you know, the the fruit character just just now, it comes out so much more heavy once you come back to it, though. Like, is, in case you couldn't get like the the, the, the um, like the uh, you know that that the figgy and daty character kind of thing, or, or you know, right now you definitely taste it on the way back. I'll give you that. I don't. I was definitely you know you can really taste, but it, it is a lot more of the elements. Oh yeah. The second time around, I like the same way with horrors. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Interesting fact. Once you can taste the KY jelly that much more the second time. Yeah, <laughs> no. doesn't it been all over the place? Really worked in. That's okay. That's I, the way it is. I just hope my girlfriend doesn't watch this. I hope not either. Love you, honey. So get, remember that life's a tap. Drink up till it's dry.